NCLEX review. Here are five hardest NCLEX exam questions. Let's see how many you can score. Let's start. Question one. A client with a history of coronary artery disease is admitted with chest pain. The nurse notes ST segment elevation in leads 2, 3, and AVF on the ECG. Which intervention should the nurse prioritize? Is it A, administering nitroglycerin sublingually? B, preparing the client for immediate PCI, percutaneous coronary intervention? C, administering morphine sulfate for pain or D, monitoring the client's cardiac enzymes? Answer. The correct answer is B, preparing the client for immediate PCI, percutaneous coronary intervention. Rationale. ST segment elevation in leads 2, 3, and AVF indicates an inferior myocardial infarction. Immediate PCI restores blood flow, reducing heart damage and improving outcomes. Question 2. A client with type 1 diabetes is found unconscious with a blood glucose level of 35 mgIDL. Which intervention should the nurse implement first? Is it A. Administer 50% dextrose vipery push. B. Administer glucagon IM. C. Start an IV line with normal saline or D. Recheck the blood glucose level. Answer. The correct answer is A. Administer 50% dextrose I-free push. Rationale. Immediate IV administration of 50% dextrose rapidly raises blood glucose levels, essential for reversing severe hypoglycemia and preventing brain damage. Question 3. A client with cirrhosis presents with ascites and asterixis. The nurse notes that the client's ammonia level is elevated. Which medication should the nurse anticipate administering? Is it A. Spironolactone B. Lactulose C. Rifaximin or D. Furosemide Answer. The correct answer is B. Lactulose Rationale Lactulose reduces elevated ammonia levels by converting it to ammonium, which is excreted in stool, thereby treating hepatic encephalopathy. Question 4. A client with a new onset of confusion and restlessness is found to have a sodium level of 115 mechel. What is the priority nursing action? Is it A. Restrict fluid intake. B. Administer hypertonic saline. C. Place the client on seizure precautions. Or D. Monitor the client's urine output. Answer. The correct answer is B. Administer hypertonic saline. Rationale. Severe hyponatremia, 115 MEQL, can lead to serious neurological symptoms. Hypertonic saline rapidly increases sodium levels, preventing further complications such as seizures. Question 5. A client with a suspected basilar skull fracture is being assessed. Which finding is most indicative of this injury? Is it A. Raccoon eyes B. Battle sign C. Clear fluid drainage from the nose or D. Positive Romberg test. Answer. The correct answer is C. Clear fluid drainage from the nose. Rationale. Clear nasal fluid testing positive for glucose indicates cerebrospinal fluid leakage, a direct sign of basilar skull fracture requiring urgent medical attention. On a scale of 1 to 5, how many did you score? Feel free to drop a comment sharing your correct answers. Hope you've gained some valuable insights. Until the next video, take care.